Hello friends, today we will solve lead code problem number one called two sum problem. And uh, it's one of the easier problems that is asked frequently in Facebook telephonic interviews. And uh, it uh, will not be asked alone because it's quite easy and uh, it may be the first question followed by a second question. So let's see what is the problem and why is it called two sum problem. So in this problem, you are given an array of integers and you are also given a target value. So you have to find two integers out of this array so that their sum is 9. So let's say the integers are x and y and their sum is 9. So a uh, very simple approach would be to look at all such pairs. And we know that uh, there are n times n minus 1 divided by two such pairs if there are n numbers here and so this will be order of n square so you uh, fix one of the elements and you look for towards its right right till the end if you have any uh, number y such that their sum is 9 so if you have fixed x then the x is equal to 9 minus y so basically uh, if you are looking for y then y would be similarly 9 minus x so you fix x and you look for 9 minus x so let's say x starts from here the first index so x is 3 so we are looking for 6 in this array from uh, 1 to 5 we did not find 6 so move ahead now x is 2 so we are looking for 9 minus x that is 7 and we found 7 here so we return the index of current number and the number that we found so in this case we will return 1 and 4 so uh, this is a very nice solution but let's uh, first try with this approach and then we will improve our solution So I will be using C++ for this coding. So we need to return a vector. You see here return type is vector of int. And this will have two elements, two positions if it's, it found the two pairs. If it did not find, it will return empty vector. So we are iterating through this uh, input vector of numbers and then what we will do uh, so we have uh, a function called find in algorithms and we can use that and that find returns uh, the iterator uh, to the position if it found the number if it does not find a given number in the collection uh, this uh, iterator will point to the end of that collection. So we want to find from one position to the right of this. So if we are here 3, we are looking one position right till the end. So that's why it plus 1. So this is the starting and end will be nums dot end. And we are looking for target minus current number. So either it will find it or it will not find it. So if it does not find it, it will be pointing to nums dot end. So if so this is the case when it found the number. Then we have to simply 
push the two values to the result which is it minus nums dot begin so this will give the how, by how much difference the difference between uh, the beginning and the current iterator and that is what we exactly want if it is the very first number then this will be nums dot begin so their difference will be zero and this is it1 by the way and once we found it we don't need to look further we will break from this loop and finally we will return result so if it did not uh, reach this condition that is it did not find the two numbers then it will be an empty vector so let's run our code So you see it works, works, so we will go ahead and submit it. And this is not, uh, by the way, optimum way of solving it. Uh, you see, uh, we did pretty bad and our solution is better than just 5% of the users who submitted in C++, although space is better than 100%. Let's try one more time if it improves or not. So it doesn't improve much. Uh, so it will fluctuate around this. Maybe we reach to till 20%, but not more than that. So let's look at the second approach. So the second approach that we will look at is uh, using a hash map. And here uh, we will be using these elements as the keys and their position as the value. So if I denote a given element by AI, so this is the key and i is the value ai denotes the element of a at ith position and i is the actual position so this is the structure of map so uh, uh, we can insert all of these elements into the map and then start traversing the array just like our first method and uh, when we are looking at three we will try to find six in the map if we found 6, we will get what is the position, where is the 6. Uh, if it finds 6, we will return the current i and the i that we got from the map. If it doesn't, we will move forward. But there is a catch here. You don't need to first insert everything into the map and then start traversing. Why is that? Uh, let's say you inserted everything into the map and then you start traversing. Uh, then let's say any value, this is i and this is j. So when you uh, reach i, you will find this jth element in the map because you have inserted everything beforehand. But uh, let's say you don't do that. Then uh, you insert into the map as you start traversing this array. So you start from 3. You look for 6 in the map, you don't find it, so you insert 3 into the map along with position which is 0. Then you move to 2, you look for 7, you did not find 7, so you will insert the current element 2 along with position. So you will not find it when you reach i, but when you reach j, you would have already 
inserted this first pair, first element of the pair into the map. So when you reach 7, you will look for 2 in the map because 9 minus 7 is 2. So you will find 2 in the map, which is 1. So you will return uh, this 1 along with current position, which is 4. So you see, you don't need to insert everything into the map. Uh, you just need to insert elements from beginning till the higher index because lower in index would already have been inserted by the time you reach the higher index. So let's implement this and we will see uh, if it makes any difference in our performance. So let's comment it out. Keys of type int and values also of type int and we will call it map So this is the current element that we are we have reached till now and then we look for complement. What will be the complement? It will be target minus current number. So we are basically trying to find complement in the map. So if it finds, it will, the iterator will be pointing to uh, that element. If it doesn't find, iterator would be pointing to map.end. So if it is not equal to map.end, So we will return a vector so this it uh, is pointing to a pair which will hold first and second first will be the key second will be the value and uh, the value is the position of that element in the actual array so we will that position will be denoted by second and then i will be the lower index because we will always find it when we reach the higher index you remember this analogy because when we are at lower index this 7 will not be inserted but when we reach 7 we would have already inserted 2 so first we return this uh, iterator and then the current index but if we don't find it or we don't even need else because if it's not true then anyway it will move forward And if we don't find it, finally we return a uh, result empty vector. So let's run it. So it works and let's submit it whether it works for all the cases or not. So you see the solution has improved dramatically from 576 milliseconds to 12 milliseconds. 
let's try running it a few more times if it improves further but you see that we are basically on the uh, much better side and now you see the same solution is better than 93 percent of the users uh, which is very very good so uh, this will run in order n time because uh, we only insert from 0 till j where j is the higher index in the map and searching in map would be order of 1. So I hope uh, you liked the video and you understood this problem.